point of it is that we are a community. And whether you were a graduate in 75 or as far back as 58, that's when we started here. Dr. Stuart Hyde started the department. Or you're in school now, or the students will come after us. Uh, it's a very special place. And take it from somebody like me, and I believe Peter agrees that uh, uh, you should be proud that you're here. Take advantage of everything you can as part of being a student here. Um, and uh, uh, as somebody who came through the program and has gone out and worked in the workplace, uh, I just wanted to impart that information to you, that we were once sitting where you are. And it's important to keep that in mind and perspective that dreams and ambitions are important and they can come true. And uh, I'm happy to be back on campus for the next couple of days working with the Becca students, faculty, uh, and Lene and Oscar to go through anything you'd like to talk about. Well, tremendously, the, the big, the one key word there is digital. When you can digitize the content away from an analog piece of videotape, a VHS cassette that goes in your home VCR, or even a DVD, which is still small in stature, and view things online through an application, whether it be a, you know, Hulu or Netflix or some of these other services. Uh, it's changing the landscape. Uh, you know, I have my own opinion, and we'll talk about that, about where the future is. But uh, sure. uh, you know, broadcast and television still has a place. And despite the increased buzz in the marketplace about over-the-top service, the economics are still in question right now whether it's advertised supported or whether you're willing to pay a subscription fee to watch these programs. Uh, the networks have developed video on demand services. We distribute uh, all of our primetime shows on demand so you can binge watch uh, Big Bang Theory if you want. Well, as I mentioned before, we have all access. That's kind of been our platform. We had opportunities to become a partner in Hulu. Uh, CBS chose not to. That's primarily owned by Fox. 20th Century and NBC Comcast. And we decided that it was, let's go it on our own. Our program, CBS in primetime, has been number one 13 out of the last 14 years. We have a pretty good, compelling story to tell in the marketplace. Mm -hmm. So when you, and this new opportunity over the top allows us to go directly to the viewer Correct. and let's see how much they're watching. So it's really more of an experiment as well as an opportunity to keep the investors that this is that are all anxious to hear about how over the top does happy, you know that CBS is on the edge and trying to do some new things. If I had an answer to that question, I would be <laughs> better off than I am. It, it's a it's a wild west out there. Is really what it is, and it, that's why it's an exciting time to be involved in the industry and watch the transformation here. It's all about eyeballs, and you know CBS is a content company. And where we don't own the show, we buy the rights to the NFL and some other big sports properties that are important that the American public wants to see. So uh, that's, we're in the content business, and so we have to be a, to adjust. And as long as we can monetize and measure the audience to whatever platform individuals want to watch it on. Uh, I get, asked, I get asked that all the time too, but uh, I, I think it's important that students have the human skills. They can be as knowledgeable as they can, but they got to still look you in the eye, shake your hand, sit at a, an interview or a discussion, you know, have a, have a sense of what they're there to do, do some homework about it. But those are human skills that I think benefit the student. And I've encouraged everybody to, to have those kind of skills and to be, those should be taught as part of the basics of getting into whatever the industry is, particularly the media business, where you know, personalization is really key. But for me, I know Peter felt the same way, we never lost our focus on what we wanted to do, and that's important. Have a dream, feel compelled, and don't, don't ever give up.